What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit today. Um, so kind of the what's on the wall is turning to how much can I fit on the bench type thing today. <laughs> so what we've got on the bench today are my two Axial SMT 10s. Um, this one is the Grave Digger. Obviously, if you guys aren't familiar with Grave Digger, you probably never heard of a monster truck. Um, this one is bone stock. The only thing different is I did put the Rift Servo Saver on here. Hopefully it's a little bit beefier, but we did blow out the stock servo saver the first time I drove it. Um, but, you know, it handles pretty well. It does pretty good. This one, on the other hand, you guys haven't even seen this one yet. This one is a completely custom build. Um, so this one is the SMT chassis. Um, it has the upgraded axial uh, link braces i guess you would call them they're basically metal plates that go on each side of the lower links to brace up those links to keep them from flexing and bending especially where they meet with the shocks um it also has the metal upper links um what else do we have on this one this one has a 3000 3200 kv brushless um hobby wing system in it um, it has front and rear sway bars on it. So this, one of the things this one suffered with was a whole lot of front end dive. Um, especially when you went to go to dive into the corners, it would just nose over and want to, you know, flip over or, you know, catch on the body, whatever. Um, so hopefully with the extra sway bars on the front, this one will drive much straighter. Um, I have yet to drive this. Um, got it all built. Um, you know, everything is ready to go. It just hasn't been run yet. Um, it was just one of those things. I got it built and we went and did something different and I jumped to a completely different project and just haven't had it out. So this is kind of a sneak peek for you guys. Um, I'm running the 35 kg, you know, Amazon special on here, stock servo saver. So we're probably gonna have to upgrade that because that's probably going to blow out quickly. Um, I, do tent, I, I do intend to add more stuff to this truck. So on the modified one, really, you know, there's not a whole lot going on with it that's noticeable other than the links. Um, it's got a 17.5 just stock motor in it. Um, it's a whole hobby wing system. Um, I have no idea how well it's going to go. Um, I'm hoping it gives it enough oomph and power to get out of its own way. But again, we'll, we'll have to see. I haven't run it yet. Um, driver guy, I painted him up kind of the red, green, and blue to match the M&M theme on the body. And we have the Scully figure on there that's all painted up. You know, still rocking the BKT tires. You know, when I got it, um, I had bought two of these kits because they were on super clearance. I think I bought both kits for $120 a piece. Um, and at the same time, they had the Axial SCX-10 Builders kits, and I think I bought two of those for $100 a piece. And then they put this on sale, and my wife bought me this one. So I had tied up a whole bunch of money into, you know, chassis and trucks at the time. So I didn't really want to dump but so much money onto this right away. So we're going to run it as is and see how well it does. Um, you know, the BKT tires, they're a little stiff, um... You know, they're going to bounce a little bit, but, you know, it's a monster truck. It's supposed to be bouncy a little bit. Um, when I ran this one, it did it did fine. Um, you know, and they looked the part. You know, they look like the Monster Jam trucks. Um, you know, really the only difference in between these is this has the glow-in-the-dark helmet guy. This has just a painted guy. And then, obviously, the Grave Digger uh, livery on this one. And then this one does have the upgraded parts. But, again, I'll get some... You guys can see the... The M and M's theme all over it. And, you know, my favorite one is the queasy looking guy in the rear. Um, you know, I wanted to do something fun, something different. Um, I didn't want to build another monster truck replica. You know, I wasn't necessarily getting this to do a monster truck replica, but you know, this went on sale and I got one anyway. You know, this is my first grave digger, so you know, I'm kind of it's kind of cool as well. Um, you know, I think the SMT models get a kind of a bad rap because guys go out and do all kinds of crazy stunt driving with them. And, you know, if you treat it like you would any other RC car, it's going to hold up fine. You know, if you start treating it like, you know, a $900 Arma or a $600 LMT, you know, your $230 uh, SMT Axial is probably going to break something. You know, it's, it wasn't over-engineered like those eight, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollar cars are that are meant to go flying off the side of a house. But, you know, I'm really happy to have these in the collection, especially the Gravedigger. Like I said, this is the first Gravedigger that I've ever had. Um, 
you know, my project resurrection, wherever that's at, um, kind of has the grave digger body, but I didn't go with a grave digger theme on purpose on that. And this one, you know, I just found a body that had kind of a longer wheelbase to it and would be fun to slap a whole bunch of stickers on. I really didn't have an idea when I got it to what theme I was going to go with. Um, but I found these M and M stickers on MCI and, they, they were running a sale, so I was like, I'll get them, I'll put them on something, and that's what this one turned into. Anyway, guys, this one, I'm sorry this one's a little bit short. I know some of them have been going a little bit longer, but, you know, with monster trucks, I couldn't show you guys all my monster trucks because it would be, like, this big. So we'll knock them out a few at a time. Anyway, guys, everybody out there, you guys be happy, be healthy, be safe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.